Jessie here. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new. In case you can't tell by the title and this huge amount of groceries in front of me, we got a grocery haul today. I went to Walmart, I took the whole family, so that's why there's so much stuff here. Um, I kind of set a goal in my head to spend about $150 on food, and we spent closer to $170, I believe. Um, but we got quite a bit for that, actually. Um, the shelves were kind of bare in some places. There's definitely shortages, but we were able to get everything on our list. And um, we also bought a few non-food items, which I'll share with you as well. So, I guess we'll start over here on the left with a huge amount of frozen vegetables. We were all out of frozen vegetables, so I stocked us up. We've, well, let's start with this. Ketchup. I was out of ketchup, so we got some ketchup. All right, back to the frozen vegetables. So this is obviously going to last us longer than a week. I like to stockpile frozen vegetables and go through them all and then buy another stockpile. I don't know. I don't buy them just by the week for whatever reason. So I've got two things of cut green beans, two things of sweet peas, two things of corn. We've got four bags of Brussels sprouts because the Brussels sprouts are our favorite. We love them steamed. We love them on the grill. Um, I got a big two pound bag of broccoli florets. Those are going to be great as well. And did I say the sweet peas? Not sure. And green beans. So you basically like two of everything, right? So that's that. While we were in the freezer section, we also grabbed some frozen buttermilk waffles. We bought three boxes because that's all they had. They did not have any other frozen waffles except for these three boxes of buttermilk. So that's what we bought. Um, everything else was wiped out. So we got those to stock our freezer. There's also a dozen eggs down here. Down here on the floor, which needs to be swept, I have all the drinks. So two things of Gatorade, a 24 case of Diet Mountain Dew, um, 96 K-Cups. You guys know that's how we like to do that. And then my son picked out some apple cider. So that's what's down there. There's also some groceries over there in a bag. That's my mother-in-law's stuff we have to take to her. So that's separate from the price I just gave you. Okay, ice cream. I got cookie dough and this blueberry cheesecake ice cream, which looks really delicious. Also got some jumbo ice cream cups. Sorry, I know this haul is not especially aesthetically pleasing. Everything is stacked precariously. I got a little table and a lot of stuff. Sorry. Got the Freedom Pops. Austin picked those out. We got some glazed honey buns. We picked up quite a few snacky things, which you will see as I go through. Um, the caramel and cheese popcorn, which is my husband and I's favorite. Some non-food items. We got some flushable wipes. Got my husband another one of these Thermocell mosquito repellent things. Um, he uses these when he goes hunting and he swears by them. He says nothing works better for mosquitoes. We also got some paper towels. Okay, I'm going to try really hard not to miss anything, but like I said, this is all stacked like 12 things deep, so if I miss anything, I apologize. Okay. Hot dog buns. Wheat bread. Picked up some candy. We grabbed some sour gummy worms and some wintergreen mints. Also, these cherry sours, which my son has already gotten into. And I believe there's more here buried under everything else. So, we'll just move on to a jar of peanut butter. I apologize for the crazy shadows, by the way. It's almost 10 o'clock at night. We got carried away running errands and whatnot. It took us forever to get these groceries home. Um, some popping oil for popcorn. We got some red grapes. We also got some extra butter microwave popcorn. Sometimes we do microwave popcorn. Sometimes we do um, just popcorn kernels in our popcorn maker. Just depends on what we're in the mood for. Moving back up here, um, we got some chicken drumsticks. We're going to do some shake and bake chicken and some shake and bake pork chops this week. So, got the drumsticks, and then I got two packages of these thicker pork chops. We got some Black Forest ham for sandwiches. I apologize if you can hear my cats in the background crying. 
we had to lock them up so they would not get out while we were carrying groceries in. So I gotta get them out of their bedroom, but for now, they're fine. Okay. Got some Colby and Monterey Jack cheese. Also, uh, two pounds of ground beef. Uh, I told you guys about the chicken, the pork chops. We also got some of this breakfast sausage. We're gonna do biscuits and gravy. I got a ton of biscuits in my freezer I need to use up. And I got some of these beef and bean chimichangas for a super easy lunch or dinner option. My husband said, get a big old fat thing of cottage cheese. So I did just that. This is three pounds of cottage cheese. You better eat it all. <laughs> um, the M&M's classic mix. This is classic M&M's plus peanut butter M&M's and peanut M&M's, which are all my three favorites. So got that. Sour cream, spreadable butter. For fresh fruit, we got some Granny Smith apples and some Bartlett pears. Um, I've had to get the sugar-free pumpkin spice creamer. I mean, it's October after all. Got a big thing of orange juice with no pulp. Have and half for my husband's coffee. We also grabbed this Simply Cranberry Juice cocktail because that sounded really good. Um, up here, we got some orange cupcakes. Like I said, we stocked up on some snacky type things. We also got some of these zebra cake rolls. I grew up on zebra cakes, just like the regular cakes from Little Debbie. The cake rolls are way better, just FYI. We also grabbed some oatmeal cream pies. And we are unearthing more and more stuff, so we got a gallon of milk here. These Tennessee Pride sausage and buttermilk biscuits, my husband loves these for a quick and easy like breakfast. Well, he's not really a breakfast eater. He tends to eat these more like a midnight snack. Um, we got the Crunch and Munch. This is the buttery toffee. That's my husband's favorite. We stocked ourselves up on these Walmart brand Pringles because these were on sale. So we got two original, one cheddar cheese. This is sour cream and onion. And then this one is barbecue. So that's all that. We got the Fruity Dino Bites. That's for cereal for the week for my kiddo. And I believe that brings us full circle if we didn't miss a bunch of stuff down there in the middle, which it's very possible that I did because, like I said, this is a very stacked table. So that is everything we picked up. I will flash our meal plan on the screen. You will notice that there's some repeat things from previous weeks. Um, I make a meal plan every week, but I don't always stick to it. Sometimes stuff gets left off. So this is more like a catch-up week eating a lot of the meals that we had planned and never made. So, yeah. That's it for my grocery haul. Oh, we also bought two camping chairs. I'll just put pictures up on the screen so I don't have to drag those out. And we bought a wagon, like utility cart wagon as well. So it was a total of $300 with absolutely everything. Some of those items, though, didn't come out of my grocery budget. So... All right, that's it, friends. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I post new budgeting and lifestyle content here on my channel every single week. I'd love to have you come back. Now I gotta go put this all away. Have a nice night, guys. Bye. Bye.